ocean looked like an underwater snowstorm. It was beautiful. the little pink egg and sperm bundles get released from our outplants. Um, a whole bunch of different fish, a lot of different snails and nudibranchs, and it was just an amazing sight to witness. After four years of patiently waiting, we finally get to see the corals we outplanted spawn. Uh, after all the hard work we put in nurturing the coral, uh, we are very, very proud and very glad to see that it's actually contributing to the natural recovery of Fitzroy Island and the Great Barrier Reef. So couldn't be more happier to see that. In science, we always try to make things better. So in knowing that the corals in Fitzroy Island uh, have to reach specific size to actually uh, spawn, we have actually uh, what we call adopt a new techniques to ensure that uh, to accelerate the spawning process from our outplanted coral. We, we've actually tested new things like genotype clustering and a whole range of other techniques to ensure that the coral actually spawn. This will also mean that uh, we are pretty confident that our two other sites in Hastings Reef and in Mall Reef that we are going to see coral spawning in a short period of time. <laughs>